is set for one fall. It's for the World Wrestling Grand Prix Championship. When the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, Mr. Chris Levin. Introducing first in the corner to my left, he is the challenger.
back into the commentary position. Uh, let me tell you something that uh, that Chris Steeler, what a gem. What a great guy he is, huh? Right now, I'm liking what I'm seeing. He's uh, on the outside of the ring holding his back. And on the inside of the ring, big bad kaiju, O'Shea Edwards. Uh-oh, he's coming out to get him. Chris Steeler, the standard bearer, has no idea. Well, he knows now. He had no idea. Found out pretty quickly, though. Chris Steeler went face first into those metal bleachers, and that was a horrifying sound if you're Chris Steeler. Music to the ears of many of these fans, though. Oh, that's a game changer right there. O'Shea Edwards chopping the ring post. And now the complexion of the match changes because when you, when you have a jacked up hand, you, you know, you can't form a fist, you can't punch, you can't grab. It makes it very difficult for you to get a grip on certain holds. Oh my goodness, he's gonna hand, hand first into the wall. And Chris Taylor pitches O'Shea Edwards, big bad kaiju, back into the ring. But Chris Taylor, he's got to get back in there quicker. Yeah, because he's going to get caught just like he did by the big man out of Atlanta, Georgia. Looking to come in here to take away that World Wrestling Grand Prix championship. And Chris Steeler looking for a timeout. He's not going to get one. O'Shea Edwards throws Steeler into the ring now. Oh, cheap shot there by Chris Steeler kicking the bottom rope as O'Shea Edwards is stepping through. Chris Steeler going to work on O'Shea Edwards. And outside of a brief little flurry, it's been all Steeler since O'Shea Edwards accidentally made connection with that ring post. And now choking O'Shea across the top rope. Chris Levin breaking, forcing a break. Chris Steeler knows that the referee means every set of ropes. And Chris Levin looks like he's starting to get a little bit ticked off at the constant rule breaking of the standard bearer. And O'Shea has a chokehold on Steeler, but Steeler with the Kick to the midsection, and now a double-handed uh, choke right across the throat. Not even trying to hide it. And a series of blows there by the current and defending champion. Big time kick in the corner. And O'Shea looks worse for wear right now. Yeah. 
And O'Shea finding some openings, but Steeler shutting them almost as quickly as O'Shea found them. Side eye Russian leg sweep, I guess. No, I don't know. I don't like it. I'm giving a side eye to it. And the fans starting to get on the case of Chris Steeler. We almost had a problem. Almost had a problem for that young man. These are tough individuals, whether you like them or not. Big time overhead, belly to belly suplex by Big Bad Kaiju. And big clothesline. Oh, he's going to keep going. A series of clotheslines. O'Shea sends him in, but Steeler ducks. Couldn't duck that. Oh, we almost had a new champ. Almost had a new champ here. Chris Steeler lands on his feet, and a super kick lands to the jaw. Of O'Shea, but O'Shea not going down. He's teetering. But he ain't going down, at least not yet. And Steeler going for another super kick, but O'Shea caught it. Perhaps playing a little bit of opossum out of O'Shea. And a spear out of Chris Steeler. Right through the torso of Big Bad Kaiju. Getting on top. And oh, very close to this match being over. Steeler with O'Shea in his sights. Finds nothing but turnbuckle. Edwards found nothing but boot. That time, elbow. Steeler up to the middle. He leaps and got caught over the shoulder. We got a little bit of Atlanta Stampede. Okay, O'Shea. Let's see what you got. Can you put him away? Oh, holding on to the official and Chris Steeler. Went backwards with a kick and kicked O'Shea low. Then another super kick. The sound echoing off of the walls here at Max Fit. Straight down center of the ring and Chris Steeler retains.